Hi, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? I keep hearing people say that pink is not a color. What do you know about that? No, they say it doesn't exist. Oh, what's the difference? Colors exist on that line of colors you've seen. The visible spectrum? Pink isn't on there. What are you talking about? Of course it's on there. It's right there. Um, that's orange. Well, what about this? That is definitely a pinkish. Yeah, I don't really understand why that's not pink. The only thing I can think to say is that it's indigo, not pink. Which, you got me, seems kind of like a technicality. The same way that violet and purple aren't the same. They're not? No, purple doesn't exist either. Weird. Yeah, but hang on. Why are people saying that these colors don't exist when I am sitting here staring at a pink My Little Pony character? I'll do my best to explain. As I said before, real colors exist on the visible spectrum. That is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These are all just different parts of the light that is out there shining around and bouncing into your eye. Just look at this prism splitting light to get a better idea of what I mean. In your eye, you have these little cells that let you make sense from all the light stabbing you in the face. There are rods, which are useful for telling the difference between dark and light, and how intense that light is, and cones, which see color and detail. For this explanation, we want the cones. There are three different types. Let's call them Fred, George, and Stanley. Fred catches short wavelengths of light, he's blue. George catches medium wavelengths, he's green and Stanley catches long ones, he's red. That's not to say that these are the only colors that these guys can catch, but they have those as their preferences. Now go look at that white piece of paper over there. Which of your cones are catching the white wavelengths? Um, JK, it's all of them at once. When multiple cones are receiving input at the same time, it changes the signal your brain is receiving on the other end. Your brain can only pick up one color message at a time, so if it's seeing more than one color in a beam of light, it interprets that as a single color. In this case, white. Now look at this picture of a lemon. Which of your rods is firing the yellow signal off to your brain? Again, it's not just one. If you look at the visible spectrum, you can see that there is a color dedicated to yellow. It has its own special wavelength just for itself. And if you look at this chart of cone sensitivity, you can see that a lot of the sensitive areas overlap. Something else that you may notice is that on this Venn diagram of colors, when red and green overlap, they make yellow as well. In the brain, red and green can be merged to create yellow. Wait, you're saying these colors are merging together? But where are these multiple colors coming from? I don't see a red little pony and a green little pony and think they are both yellow, right? No. On a normal object like this green car, the green paint of the car is absorbing all of the other colors in the beam of light. It then reflects back only the green wavelengths of light. Green has its own specific wavelength on the visible spectrum. Most objects are reflecting more than one wavelength of light though. It's rare for all wavelengths of light to get absorbed by a surface. But what about colors that don't have their own wavelength? Cerulean, vermilion, bronze? I mean, sure, it's a valid question. Do I have all the answers? No, I do not. I'm assuming that it's either A, those colors do have their own wavelength associated with them, it's just a very specific one. There are over 300 different wavelengths in the visible spectrum. Or B, it's actually just a combination of wavelengths coming into your eye and your brain interpreting it as a single color. Computers actually hardcore take advantage of this by working with just the three colors that match up with your eye cones, red, green, and blue. If you look way, way, way close at the individual pixels that are making up a digital screen, you can see that they are just individual clusters of those three colors, but they are so small that your brain can't distinguish between which one is on or off, so it registers it as a single color. Okay, so pink is just the combination of two colors? If I look at that Venn diagram you showed me, I see that green and red make yellow, and blue and red make pink. But that doesn't explain why people keep saying it doesn't exist. Right, so yes, it's the combination of two colors, but there's more to it than that. Look back at the visible spectrum. When your eye gets hit with two different colors at the same time, your brain meets in the middle of the spectrum. Sort of. Violet and cyan make blue, yellow and red make orange, green and yellow make yellow-orange, red and blue make green. But there's a problem. Hold on. That Venn diagram shows red and blue making pink, not green. Exactly. 
The average of red and blue on the spectrum is green, but your eye already has a green rod for seeing green color, and your brain knows it's not seeing green because it's getting lit up by the red and blue receptors. It has to do something, so it invents a new color as a figment of your imagination to keep your whole world from collapsing. So pink is just made up in my mind? It's not actually there? Correct! But you said that all of the colors are doing this too anyways. What's to stop me from saying that all colors are made up? All the ones that I don't have cones for, I mean. Those colors are still there emitting specific wavelengths in the actual world. Remember I said there are over 300 wavelengths related to color. Your eye does some mental wizardry when it gets hit with more than one at a time, but that doesn't mean that the individual color wavelengths aren't real. You can't say the same for pink. There is no individual wavelength on the visible spectrum that corresponds to the color we know as pink. Hmm, okay, cool, thanks. Is that it? Yep. Did you like my explanation? Meh, I've heard worse. Are you going to subscribe to my channel at least? Meh, probably not. You're the worst. I'm okay with that. See ya!